Welcome to the world of amazing animal acrobats. What are you doing, Henry? Well, it ain't the laundry, that's for sure. There's a circus coming to town, and I'm going to try out for it. You're not an acrobat. Mm, I'm too. Henry, animal acrobats have grace, skill, and... style. Oops. I hope you can pay for that. Excuse me. On our budget? Now I'll have to join the circus. Goodbye, faithful friend Tuesday. It was great knowing you, but now I must run away. Or stagger away. Are you sure you can carry all those clothes, Henry? Those aren't clothes. That's my emergency pizza supply. I should have known. If you want to learn how to be an acrobat, just take some tips from the animal world. What? You mean they might be giving me some ideas? Yes, actually. And anyway, that wasn't a given. It was a spider monkey. Just one of nature's natural acrobats. Is that squirrel nuts? No. These animals are acrobats for a reason. Whether it's to find food, to escape from danger, or even to find a mate. has a porpoise then, huh? Dolphin. Gesundheit. Oh. Animals don't always get it right. Hey, even I can do lying around. Not to mention falling down. <laughs> he fell off. <laughs> I don't think you can afford to laugh until you're a much better acrobat yourself, Henry. Okay, so which way to the dining car? Henry, you're traveling freight, not first class. So no buffet either? Nope. Well, there must be something to eat in all this. It's nice to see such dedication to learning some acrobatic tricks. Hey, a lizard in training has to eat, you know. Whoa. You'll never catch the train on that. I have to. Henry, there are other ways of getting to the circus. Circus schmuckus, there's pizza still on the train. Phew, that was close. Hey, this guy's doing barrel rolling too. Not quite. That's an East African dung beetle. Excuse me, he's rolling dung? Yep. Couldn't he use a beach ball like everyone else? You can't lay your eggs in a beach ball. Female dung beetles need the dung balls to lay their eggs in, so males use them to attract a mate. They give dung to their girlfriends? Don't they have candy? The females prefer gifts of dung. Of course they do. There's a lot of competition to get the best bits, so the males mold it into balls and roll it away to keep it from getting stolen by other dung beetles. Well, they don't have to worry about me stealing it. So what's the frog doing? Throat exercises? No, he's jumping. Frogs may be small, but some can jump over ten times their own body length. And red kangaroos are able to leap the width of a tennis court in a single bound. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Marsuperol! Acrobatic skills can make the difference between life and death. Oh no! Run, bunny, run! Phew! He came within a hair's breadth. Arctic hares can run up to 50 miles an hour to escape predators. What are these guys doing? Drying the paint on their feet? <laughs> They're male blue-footed boobies, and their feet are naturally that color. They're displaying to attract the female boobies. And the winner gets the booby prize! <laughs> They may look silly to you, Henry, but boobies take these displays very seriously. Courtship displays are how many animals judge a mate. The better the moves, the better their chances. Is that 
why this jumping spider is doing the flamenco? Kind of. He's trying to show this female he's in top shape, that he has good genes. And the right sneakers to go with them, I suppose. <sighs> Not those kind of genes. This time, though, the female spider is unimpressed. Maybe he should have tried the waltz, huh? Henry, Henry, it's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, mud wrestling to be Olympic event. And millipede in training for 100 leg race. But now, our top story. Next Winter Acrobatics Games in Antarctica Shock! Animals from all over the world have been getting into training. The skates are skating, the skunks are skiing, and the bobcats are bobsledding in readiness for the coldest acrobatics meeting in history. Tropical animals are taking no chances, insects are getting insulated, and the elephants are packing their trunks full of thermal underwear. In this exclusive interview, Larry the Lion told us how the training was going. But the favorites for medals are the penguins, those aquatic acrobats who are expected to be all comers at the high dive, the swimming, and of course, the 800 meter waddle. Well, let's hope they p p pick up lots of medals. And next is the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. A bit of both, Henry. Really? Penguins don't go to acrobatic tournaments, but they are great acrobats. That's what I said. Sure, but most people don't know that. I'm not surprised. Man, that's about as graceful as my Aunt Mabel running for the bus. Okay, so they're not too graceful on land. You're not kidding. I've seen Thanksgiving turkeys with more style than these guys. Penguins aren't designed for running. Their legs are set too far back on their bodies. And even though they're birds, they can't fly. Sheesh! They sure are clumsy. So when are you going to get to the acrobatic stuff, huh? Well, as I said, they're not very good on land. And they never go into the air. Wow! But just watch them go into the sea! little underwater jet planes. Absolutely. Penguins have evolved into expert swimmers so that it almost looks like they're flying underwater. Ooh, they glide through the seas with the greatest of ease. Hey, that was poetry. Says who? Smart guy. But penguins are poetry in motion. Their streamlined bodies make them every bit as good at acrobatics as dolphins and seals. Well, they get my seal of approval. Get it? Got it. Good. Hey, Henry, you're really good at that balancing act. Of course. I work with you, don't I? Whoa. Hey, careful there, guys. Uh. Careful. It looks high. Those people down there look like ants. Whoa. Whoa. They are ants. I'm smarter than you think. Oh, Henry. Wow, that really is a high wire. 
But where's his balancing pole? It's behind him. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Squirrels use their tails to balance. They're expert climbers. They can climb down trees or poles head first using their specially developed claws like anchors. Excuse me, but that's amazing. Yep. Squirrels' acrobatic skills have helped them be so successful that they're found on every continent apart from Antarctica and Australia. What's his specialty? Eye juggling? He may look kind of dizzy, but chameleons are expert high wire acrobats too, Henry. Not to this guy. Chameleons have claws like pincers so they can pick their way along the most prickly branches. Just very, very carefully, I guess. Oh, this one's easy. Even I could pick my way through grass. Yeah, but can you climb up it? Well, um... Or build a nest in it? Hmm, okay, you got me. Harvest mice can. They're able to live and hunt for seeds and insects in barley fields like this because they're 20 times lighter than a golf ball. If you tried this, you'd just fall flat on your... Watch it! Hey, how'd that goat get up there? It's an ibex, Henry, and ibex you couldn't do it. I could learn. I don't think so. Ibex has special hooves with a hard rim and a spongy inside for gripping, so they can easily climb surfaces that are almost vertical. And with no safety net either. Cool, but dangerous. <laughs> <laughs>